what I brought tonight is a couple of responses to Mr. Fitzgerald, um, a couple of letters, and then uh, I'll just talk very briefly after that. This one is from Donna Barnes, and she says, Mr. Fitzgerald, for several years, I've been serving as a volunteer for the local beautification committee, supporting seasonal decorating efforts, and primarily planting bridge boxes with flowers and helping to clean out old foliage from areas that are no longer planted. I have enjoyed helping to keep Loveland beautiful, and I cannot tell you how often I have heard visitors, residents of Loveland, and people who are considering relocating to our town comment on the beautiful flowers and what a difference they make. I must say, though, that the primary reason that I have volunteered my time is that I was asked by Donna Bednar to help out. I cannot imagine that this group would be as effective without her, as she is the driving force behind most of the efforts of the group and her coordination ensures that volunteers will turn up when they are needed. I sincerely hope that she will be asked to continue serving on the committee. The second one is from Kay Bolin, and she says, uh, Mr. Fitzgerald, I wish I could attend the council meeting, but I would like to send this letter, my opinion via this letter. Being on many different committees and boards throughout my life, including the Loveland Beautification Committee, I know how rare it is to have a committee where everyone respects and appreciates all committee members. Loveland has that uniqueness with the Beautification Committee. I hate to see that taken away as it is too special and too much good comes from this type of synergy. I would like to express my concern with Donna Bednar not being invited back to the LBC. She is an important link of the chain of the LBC's past and future success. I hope, for more reasons than one, Donna not being invited back was an oversight. And now, just to paraphrase your response, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, basically said that you had decided, Mayor, that you wanted to have new blood. You wanted to invite people who hadn't been involved before. And I'm certainly all for that. Um, last year, two years ago, Emily joined us, and she's just been fantastic. But my problem is why drain out the old blood? We have a lot yet to offer, and Donna is exceptional in that matter. Um, as you can see from these two letters and the comments of the other members in support of the community, the loss of Donna Bednar to the Loveland Beautification Committee would not be in the best interest of the city. I know that's redundant, but I think it's important. I, be re I request that she be invited to serve. I also ask that council review the process of filling committee posts. Council should be given the names of new and proposed candidates, but also the names of current members who have not been asked to return. This will provide council with everything they need to make the most informed decision involving staffing of committees. These volunteers have worked hard, many for years, in service of their community. They ask for nothing in return, but they do reserve, deserve the respect of the council who represent them. They should be told the reason why they're not being asked to serve in a way that they have found fulfilling and so important to the city where they make their home. Thank you.